And if it comes out and the washers are broken, dead giveaway. You need to rebuild your draw bar. I'm the CNC repairman. Are you I'm going to show you how the Niagara Falls is full of Hey everyone, I'm the CNC repairman, and I want to help you fix your machine and give you a little bit of explanation about how they work. Are you having issues with your draw bar? Maybe you don't know you are, but maybe you're having issues with your tool changer or chatter. That can be caused by a bad or worn out draw bar. So how do you check that? I use a grip force meter that allows me to check the pull of the draw bar on the spindle on the pull stud. That's what holds the tool inside of the spindle. A draw bar is made up of a bunch of washers that are kind of bowed, they call them Belleville washers, and they're stacked on top of each other. And when this sits in the machine like this, and it gets depressed against the spindle, the little ball bearings open up, they grab the pull stud, and when it releases, it pulls it up in. So this tool will tell us how much force. I'll show you how to use it. That's how quick and easy I can read the force. So this draw bar is pulling just under a thousand pounds. And that's pretty good for an older machine. Now, I don't know if the draw bar has been replaced. Let's talk about what you should read. If you have a belt drive machine, your draw bar should be between a thousand and fifteen hundred. Some of them were eighteen hundred. If you have a super speed machine, this is a super speed draw bar, it should be above two thousand. Now, when it gets below a thousand, you're going to start to have tool changer issues. I've seen a bunch of that. So what do you do if your draw bar is bad? and it is reading low. Well, you can replace the draw bar, or we offer a rebuild kit and the tools to do it. I built the tools, and I built the rebuild kits, and I've done a bunch of these. So if you have a super speed, you're gonna use these two tools that'll fit over it, that will clamp it, you'll hold the bottom one in a vise, you'll put an impact wrench on the top, spin it off, you can get a rebuild kit with the washers, you're gonna sand the shaft down because the washers kinda chafe the shaft, Stack all the washers back up, impact it back down, you have a rebuilt draw bar. For the belt drive, it's a little different. You need an H-frame press. You need the draw bar depressing tool. You depress it down, get a little pit, pop out the keepers, then release the press. All of these will come off. You'll stack them. There's two one way, two the other. 79 to 77 washers, depending on what draw bar you have. Then you'll put it back together, depress it down, and it's good to go. But you can't really check your draw bar without a grip force meter. And if you don't have a grip force meter, you either have to pull the draw bar out, and if it comes out and the washers are broken, dead giveaway. You need to rebuild your draw bar. You can purchase a grip force kit from CNC Replacement Parts that has all the different styles of spindles, different tapers, different tools, or you can rent one. So there's a few different options for you out there. If you do want to purchase it, you can get a Cat 50, Cat 40, BT 40, BT30 or ISO 20 for the little tiny office mills. So this is an overview of what we offer, how to rebuild it, and if you want to see exactly how to rebuild one of these, you have to check out our other videos that are more in depth about how to remove the draw bar and rebuild it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to teach you a little bit and for you to understand how it works. And please tell your friends who have machines about this channel so that I can help more people fix their machines. Thank you.